Good afternoon friends, hello, hello and welcome back to the stream. It's still Tuesday, indeed it is, if my computer is still not lying to me. And we are up for the afternoon part of today, which will be more Destiny 2. Yes, <laughs> that Solstice Warlock Legendary gear is coming to us. And I believe we only have five more Arc Super Final Blows to actually get it that's just a little bit we're almost there I'm gonna hit that play button and hit that pause button for this one <laughs> yeah pause my music and wait for the lovely game to load with its glorious soundtrack and here we go Awesome stuff. Oh yeah. Back into the game. That's how a lovely day could look like for some of us who enjoy gaming. For some, it might not be the greatest. Anyway, the AC unit is running again. Because even though it's very cloudy today, cloudy and bright, which is an interesting combination, <laughs> it's like the clouds are reflecting sunlight all around, so it's quite bright. And uh, 
it's very humid. It's still humid. So the AC will clear up the air a little bit and it's uh, it's much better inside already. Very much breathable again. <laughs> All right. Let's double check. Indeed, we are only missing five super final blows with arc subclass. So yes, and we're almost up to the next sort of level, which will give us the best of year one engram, I believe. Gram gram. What consumables can we actually use to maybe get something more? Do I have a lot of a lot of glimmer? I want to say glitter, but it's actually glimmer. Telemetry conductor found in scraps of luck and dismantle. Precision kills have a chance to drop weapon telemetries. Okay, why not? Last for four hours. That should prove useful. Rune finder. Effect that increases the chances of finding chalice runes in strikes, crucible matches, and gambit matches. And... How long does it last? How long does a rune finder buff last? Four hours as well. Okay. <laughs> Until that time, we'll definitely finish a match or two or a few more. What else? Uh, the Rainmaker. Can you use that? Close range precision kills have a chance to create a shower of glimmer. How lovely. And Finest Matter Weave, which can give us an enhancement core. Oh, defeated bosses. Okay, we will definitely de defeat some or more bosses. I have 388 solstice key fragments, but I have no packages. For that, I would need to go to the EDZ map, to the event, event map. Ooh, but we will decide what to do next. Right. Righty right. So many buffs. Look at this. Moon Finder, Rainmaker, Pure Metaglass Lens. And everything for four hours. It's... Yeah, Matter Weave will actually stay until it drops. Doop, 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 doop. Any triumphs? No new triumphs right now. I'm gonna check my pursuits. Corsair down. The field come device crackles weakly. You can just hear an encoded SOS repeating something about a garden. Okay, I think there. this is something for uh, Dreaming City. Machine gun beta frame. I will definitely need to do these and create more, more weapons. So that I can progress with the triumph. Vanguard Arsenal. Get precision kills in strikes. Maybe we can have a strike for a change. What is this? Uh, this finishes in 8 hours. Earn any super multi-kill medal in a Gambit Prime match. Defeat enemies with melee abilities in Gambit Prime. Let's try to get those precision kills in strikes. I am up for a few strikes. Could be nice. Could be nice. Maybe we can get some more... Vanguard related, strike related uh, bounties from uh, from Zavala, aka Papa Smurf. So let's get to the tower. Get to the chopper. Pam 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 pam. Do 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 da loo. There we go. And the little corgi is sleeping next to me. <laughs> Our precious Albus. I cuddled him a lot during the lunch break because he was very sleepy and he really wanted 
when he saw me, he really wanted some pets and scratches and cuddles. So I was with him. And he generally just moved around the flat, uh, of course, right next to me. Everywhere I kind of stood or where I was just for a little bit, he moved there and laid next to me. Hey, there's a Vala. So what about strikes? We need precision damage. Whoa, I'm not using a rocket launcher right now. With a fusion rifle. Defeat enemies with your super in a strike. Get void kills in a strike. Uh, we'll see. We will see. Or should I actually change my machine gun kill? A machine gun <laughs> setup for a rocket launcher? 10 enemies. Oh well. Any a nice rocket launcher that we can possibly use. This one is nice, but I'm using the Sunshot right now. How about using the, the Prometheus Lens for a little bit? And I can only use this one. Or Bad Omens. Yeah, let's, let's use Bad Omens. Now more than ever. Okay, velocity and stability, and ooh, <laughs> look at that velocity. I guess I will keep that blast radius and the stability. Let's try it like this, <laughs> and let's go for a strike. Rebuilding what we lost is nothing. Ah, oh, time to stretch. So, what do we have? Solar Singe. Solar damage increases slightly from all sources. But I can't do solar right now. I need arc. I need arc final blows. Because that blows. Okay, I think I'm gonna pull out my task manager so that I can see if something is afoot. Okay, Trostland, European Dead Zone. Debram, are you linked up? I am. Good to hear your voice. Operation Stormcoat is go. Debram and the commander on the same feet. Okay, what is the Operation Stormcoat? Whoa! One of my teams reported taken energy infecting the water supply. Our purification tech can only do so much. If the contamination spreads, people will die. Oakley dokely. This is a nice weapon still. It's impressive. Ta da! But the ammo. This area is no longer infected. The ammo, yeah, is gone.
So I think I need to kill stuff with precision hits. Shoot. Okay. Damn that goblin. Better take all the ammo. Anybody else? I'm still tracking taken energy nearby. They're all over the water facility. Okay, two more super final blows. That's gonna be awesome. Oh, what is this? Oh, through fire and flood. Too many of those. <laughs> Is this <laughs> something stuck? <laughs> Try to get a precision kill on these bastards. little engram and we have our super energy full so I can probably do something nasty when we find the proper enemy there he is Okay, how are we actually doing on those precision kills? This one and these are super kills and headshots. Okay, now we can see it on the on the right. Good. But those one are those ones are actually being accounted for at the same time. No! That was not what I wanted. I actually wanted that ammo. Because that was for Prometheus Lens. Thank you! Thank you, my friend. bloody vandal okay he put up a shield so we're just gonna leave him there
Nice, I guess we're full on the Prometheus lens ammo. Super is still not full. Is he down? Seems to be. Ouch! Yeah, that bloody thing off the wall. Did we get any more? 14. Nice. What is this? Hmm, telemetry. Okay, I, I have the solar empowerment now. I feel so very empowered. They just left that unguarded. This smells fishy to me. Ten more seconds. And there we go. Let's burn him down. Oh shit. Sent me into the, the pools. <laughs> Not very pleasant. I guess he's down already, almost. There he goes. Okay, we did it, boys. Have some stuff. Red Legionary. It would explain how organized they've been. Yay! Oris, I didn't think they could <laughs> Loot is raining. Well, take. Ikora and I will investigate. So, how did we end up? Now, contamination is clearing across the region. 15 Ikora precision kills. About this on every feed. Not too bad. To what about it? the gear? We have a common goal when it comes it to is completed. Okay. Sorry, guys. I gotta leave. And we will... Finish the legendary Warlock Solstice gear. Because this is the time. <clears throat> Let's get rid of the rest. Through fire and flood again. Let's put it on. There we go. Milestone updated. <clears throat> With your completed renewed solstice armor set equipped, return to the statue <clears throat> of heroes to meditate. <clears throat> Gee, welcome back. <laughs> How was my break? It felt very quick, but I had my lunch. As I mentioned, it was rice with that... Uh, uh, vegetably uh, chicken chicken breast meat stew <laughs> let's put it that way I put a little bit of curry sauce on it and I have a nice new cup of tea it's a, a herbal tea it's that liver tea and I also have a cup of coffee or half a cup right now we cuddled with Albus <laughs> so that was the high point 
There was a lot of cuddling with Albus because he was and is still sleepy and he's actually sleeping next to me right now. And we just finished the last thing on the last piece of the gear that we were working on and I'm gonna claim it. Sounds quite fitting, corgi hugs are the best. I actually, let me check. Maybe I can post a photo on Discord. I tried to do, to make some photos, but it's always quite difficult with him because he's moving around when you wish to take a picture, that is, right? <laughs> Immediately when you take out your phone, he's like, what, what, what's happening? <laughs> what are you doing? But... Maybe I have one. <laughs> He's still sleepy. Okay, let me... Let me get it ready and I can maybe put one on Discord. For all of you to love. Yeah, animals are funny to try and get photogenic snaps. <laughs> it's very, it's very tedious and it can get tricky. Like he's always curious of what's going to happen and why am I pointing something at him, right? So he either wants to jump at it or eat it or lick it or whatever. So <laughs> I'm going to do just this Then I'm going to go into the pet corner and I am going to put that photo there. There we go. And there's the sleepy corgi number two. <laughs> so that's actually under my chair, yeah. And when I was uh, on break, he generally just moved around uh, the flat uh, wherever I was. Because that's what he likes and loves to do. When he's sleepy, he always tries to find a spot next to you, very close to you. Sometimes it's the best if he can actually sleep on your feet. <laughs> okay, it's it's there, so feel free. He actually looked at me, so <laughs> he looks sleepy, but he actually looked into the into the camera. What can I do for you guys? Okay, we have a bright engram. Ooh, it gave us a an exotic shell. Come see me again, Guardian. What is this? Skyline flipside shell. It looks amazing. I like it. So, Speed Demon. Had one dog that a client owned that would sit on your feet until you petted him. He was a crafty one. <laughs> they definitely know what they're doing. And for Albus, when he's sleepy, he will just get under my chair or near you and he will lay down and sleep. But if he wants attention, he will come under my chair when I'm doing something else and <laughs> he will start yapping or growling like, you know, until I either pet him or I will give him my hand so that he can lick it. <laughs> so he also tends to be very demanding. He is a... He's a nasty little one. <laughs> we can silently call him an attention whore. Because <clears throat> he loves that attention. Another dog, a black lab, would nudge your hand for pets. Yep, Albus does that as well. Or he will jump at you and if you're doing something else with your arms, he will try to, Looking like, in particular, put his... Uh, his uh, head under your hand or arm and he will just lift it up like come on stop doing what you're doing and pet me or give attention to me and he's sleeping right now by the way dreaming I, I wanted to say dreaming because 
just now I heard a little bump. And he's actually dreaming so hard that he is moving his paws and ticking with his claws against the floor. Oh, the little puppers. <laughs> I, I actually enabled the AC again. I let it run in. So the, the air is better inside already. Because it's really humid outside. It's cloudy, but it's still very bright. It's like the sunlight is reflecting off the clouds, so it's too bright. Okay, so what does this shell do? Speed Demon. Intrinsic. Your vehicles take less time to summon and reload your weapons while you ride. Wow! Omni Telemetry. Generate gunsmith telemetry data on any elemental weapon kills and IO combo detector. Okay, detect it. Detect caches or resources on IO. That's nice. I'm gonna have it for a little while. <laughs> Gee, I'd be writing notes with my right hand and petting the dog on my left. Made my head feel funny, like that trick where you rub your tummy and pet your head. Both sides of the brain trying to work at the same time. Yep, I know that one. <laughs> well, but the dog demands it. Let's finish the gear. So this is the special grinded set. And let's meditate and let's see. There we go. Solstice of Heroes. Show Eva your fully restored majestic Solstice armor set. The majesty of it triumph completed. Let's have a look at us. Oh. It really looks nice. Look at me go. Flashy. So... <laughs> what prestige nightfall? Get a little joy. Playly strikes with clan mates. Ouch. Shattered throne with one or two players. With one to two players. Crucible Valor reset for one. <laughs> Gee, well, it was either pet the dog or have their nudging my writing hand or being barked at. Not many options left to me. They sure know what they're doing, right? Doggos. Challenging enemies defeated. Zero of ten. Okay. <laughs> they were good dogs, though, just very needy. Unlike a client's cat who would let you pet her before trying to bite or claw you. That's a nasty one. She also knew what she was doing, but that was a s something sinister, right? <laughs> okay, so now we have this legendary set, which is awesome. I'm gonna lock them all so that I won't, uh, by mistake, dismantle them. And you can upgrade to pristine with doing what is required on the gear set but it looks nice and i love it i love it and let's talk to eva hey there your voice is unleashed solstice key fragment one just one no 30. that's nice And she, you had to watch her tail. If it started twitching, you needed to pull your hand away or swipe. She was an old cat though, 10 years. And that was a neat trick, like... That must have lost her a little bit to learn, or... That's a nasty cat, either way. <laughs> I'm gonna have a sip of coffee. And by the way, how was your break? I hope you had something to eat. So... I will also need those... Bounties, because this is for... Oh, solar. Okay, I can finally change my... 
change my subclass. It's just right. To be fair, her owner would warn you about her and try to stop her. I had a pain or chocolate. What is that? Pain or chocolate? And tea. I was getting work gear sorted mostly. I uh, understood. How about that? Uh, that application. No word. No word yet. Okie dokie. Okay, I can leave it as it is. I will claim the triumph. Forges a field. Oh, this is something else. The majesty of it. There we go. Hmm, too bad. So for this you actually need 24 triumphs. I don't think I will be able to do it. And it is until the 27th of August that you can only complete the moments of triumph. I wish I could talk more. Oh, that's 2019, right? MMXIX. Uh, no word yet, but if I don't hear by the end of the week, I'll know I wasn't successful. Depends how many applicants they have to get through. Well, sometimes it takes them a, uh, even more time, so you'll see. But definitely, if there's nothing by the end of the week, I would probably poke them another time. Because, you know, why not? What's the worst that can happen if you can poke them about, Hey, did you receive my application? Did you see it? Do you know about me? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> I really want to work for you. So, maybe. And then you will see if something else happens. Uh, when will you need to leave for work? In an hour or so? Great, so I have all those pursuits. What do you think of my new space? I think we can go for more strikes. Because in general I completed what I wanted to do. And then I think the only piece of gear I can upgrade here is to defeat challenging enemies. For the Bond. James Bond. It's actually the highest gear that I have. With random perks. Okay, machine gun reserves, that's good, because we have a machine gun. Scout rifle targeting, heavy lifting, gain bonus super energy from power weapon kills. Let's do this. It's just wonderful to be Empty activity I mod socket, so opulent armor mod, wow. So many options. Actually, <laughs> yeah, in about an hour. At least the rain has stopped here. Finally. I'm happy for you. <laughs> the rain did not return to me yet, but I don't know what will happen. And if they are warning for these days for, you know, increased activity and those supercells, as they call it, so I don't know what might happen. It might very well be that it will be 33 degrees Celsius and suddenly there will be a storm as all hell. So I'm ready for anything. Let's do it. Let's go for more strikes. Or maybe I can claim something with Papa Smurf. I was actually thinking that if we were to consider going through the story of Destiny 2, I have that Hunter on level 1, and that would actually pull us through all the, through all the story, if we wanted to see it. Depends. There will always be something to do in Destiny 2. Or 
or we will switch into thief. We can change I will consider that. Because my primary goal was to go for this gear. And we'll see. Gives you a reason to level the character as well. Definitely. Now, I have the option with the annual pass that I that I bought with the expansion to Forsaken. I have, I believe, one uh, level up to level 30, I believe. And the level cap is 50 at the moment. So I had to do quite a bit. Because I was at 30 with this character. But it was fairly quick. I expected it to to last longer, but it was fairly quick. With all the activities and the, the storyline, the quest line, I was 50 in no time. And by the end of the quest line, I was actually earning those bright engrams, which you earn after you leveled up completely. So there is, a, there is still a way to progress. You are still kind of leveling up, and with each uh, fill of the bar that you see up here, uh, you will get a bright engram, which essentially gives you items from the shop, from the Eververse money shop. Oh nice, auto level sounds hella useful. With this, yes. For the games that have expanded beyond the, you know, <laughs> reach of uh, a short story to go through, like if you would need to spend a week or month to do something before getting to the end game. Uh, stuff this really enables you to fast forward a little bit they were doing the same with wow all those uh, level up tokens for your characters and you could buy more of them of course for real money <laughs> just to skip all the previous story and go to the end game end game stuff but the story is nice i enjoyed it and there are nicely voiced cutscenes all the good stuff. Okay, let's go for a strike. And actually, oh, didn't they release old version Vow or something like that? Yes, they released, uh, it's called Vow Vanilla. But, funny thing, you still need to have an active subscription to get to those vanilla servers. So, it's quite stupid. Like, I'm not even planning to return to WoW. We played quite a bit of it with my girlfriend, because it was like, uh, we played free-to-play game, an MMO, which was called Shia. That was our very beginning in the MMO genre. Then we decided, like, oh, what the hell? Okay, we have the money. Let's subscribe to Vow and let's play Vow. And we were astonished. We were really pleased with it. The graphics, the world, it was immense. We were going through all the quests. It was glorious. But then, with years and years, hey, Vow just loses its appeal. With your buddy laid out? It's the same the stuff all over again. And now it ended up with brief. maybe... Adding a piece of land, an island, or whatever new location. And the rest of the stuff is mostly recolor, reused from the older days. The same gear, the same buildings, the same enemies. Or recolored and a little bit repainted enemies. <laughs> reformed. And it just lost the appeal. So now they try to get people back with vanilla. I don't, I don't know what, what's the maximum level there, maybe 60? But you still need to hold an active subscription to... to Vow. I hear so many people spend hours and hours on that game. People's screens just seem to be filled with icons everywhere. Vow is very difficult to watch when streaming, I would say. I would think it it will get boring. It will get very boring, because you're doing quests, running across the world, and uh, 
Of course, there are many visual mods for the game that, that assist you. Like the deadly, deadly boss mods stuff that will guide you through boss fights, help you. But to watch it, you need to be really into WoW to, to watch a streamer do stuff that you already know uh, what's happening, I would say. Oh, that was bloody close. I couldn't understand half of what was happening. Pretty to watch, especially when they were on mounts or flying about the map. Possibly so, yeah. The maps are really huge. It's a lot of uh, space to explore, definitely. And uh, in many instances, they actually returned to that you have no flying in an area and you need to really walk everywhere and that was especially annoying after you like had an expansion where you were oh what I what did I do there you had an expansion where you had flying all over the map and then they released a new one and you were back to walking because they wanted to to force you to go through the paths that they crafted and maybe after that a few months or half a year they added flying to that again so damn blizzard or they are gating flying through multiple series of achievements as i said it kind of lost the appeal to me and to my girlfriend alike we were just we are not really spending money on that so we cancelled our subscriptions. We actually even got the last expansion, which is what? Battle for Azeroth? I guess. <laughs> we got it in a sale, and I believe my girlfriend actually got it for me as a gift. She tried to play it for, for a few months. She was actually working on one of the flying quest necessities until she got the flying in a certain area. And then she got bored with it again. Battles seem to consist of numbers, explosions and cooldown icons. Yep. And uh, also, they consist of not standing in shit. <laughs> so, definitely. Deadly Boss Mods is a, is a plugin that will... Or an add-on, is how they call it. That will help you avoid stuff. Damn it. Missed my grenade. and it will learn you the tactics of the fight it will teach you slowly so watching it would really it's best to watch it if you know what should be going on or what boss they are actually Killing and how the how the battle goes, and then it might be more more pleasurable to watch. Otherwise, it is a confusing mess of numbers. Probably saved a fair bit from canceling. I imagine. Yep, it was still a lot around what 13, 20, 99 euros a month. So you need to buy the game for, I don't know, 30 plus. Don't get me wrong, I have two collector's edition boxes behind me for each of us. When we really liked the game, we actually went for the collector's edition box. So we have that for, for Legion and for Warlords of Draenor. But since then, we just... We just stopped. So that's why, for instance, even Destiny 2 is better. Because you buy the game, there is no monthly subscription, and you are getting new content, even for existing players, but of course then there are expansions that you will need to buy, but it's a one-off, and then you get content from it. Which is... 
a better concept, in my opinion. The best concept, of course, is Warframe, where you don't need to pay a dime, <laughs> and you get almost everything. Hearthstone is fun to watch though, that's based on Vo, right? Uh, Leroy Jenkins being the main meme from the Vow game. Indeed, indeed. It is a Blizzard product. Most of it is from Vow, and I don't think it's just Vow lore, but maybe most of it. Most of it, I guess it really is. What the shit just happened? Okay, I'm joining allies. I tried Hearthstone a little bit, but I don't know. Card games. <laughs> I lost the appeal for it. I think I'm into more action than building a card deck and then trying to put the best cards out. But it was nice, it was funny. For a bit of time. The good thing about is uh, about it is that it's available on phones as well, so you can have it for free on an Android phone. Backseat gaming goes hard on streamers who are playing card games. <laughs> I can imagine that everybody wants to help them build the ultimate deck. Because they want to be the very best, right? But that's from somewhere else. Don't play that card. No, go for the face. You had lethal. <laughs> I can imagine. A lot of ignoring the chat must be happening in those channels if you wish to stay sane. Diffusing. I have to say, I really admire that um, my lovely viewers have not resulted or uh, didn't dive into trying to backseat game me completely. You mostly try to enjoy the story, even if you know it. So that's really great from from all the people that I met. Sometimes there are some odd, odd uh, accounts appearing in chat that just have some stupid questions. I don't know why that happens, but <laughs> sometimes. Stand proud. You survived the prison of elders. It happened last time in Wolfenstein. Retreat to Erlon. Yeah, chat gets turned out for the most part. Makes sense since uh, they can be timed out from a turn if they're not focusing on the screen, right? You need to... You need to play when your time is right. <laughs> and not get timed out. So, I don't think that I will be playing card games here, but I was eyeing uh, Slay the Spire. I don't know if you have watched that game. It is kind of a card game, but it's something like a Darkest Dungeon slash card game. I even played Darkest Dungeon quite a bit, but that must have been some time ago. I don't even remember. Getting those rocket kills. To kill one servitor. You have an army? 
<laughs> Actually, I'm really starting to get a hang of playing the game while trying to concentrate on chat a little more. <laughs> because it's not the greatest, right? Sometimes you need to focus, and if you don't, you die. <laughs> Haven't heard of it? Uh, sounds interesting. Yeah, so just Google or go to Steam or I don't know if it's maybe on GOG and look for Slay the Spire. I don't know if it actually went out from early access. It must have been early access for a long time. You're becoming a true streamer. Multitasking is tricky at the best of times. <laughs> yeah, during gameplay, definitely it is. You must have been playing the game for quite some time while streaming it and communicating with chat to be able to really know what you're doing and still have the ability to respond to people. So thank you for enabling me to to, to try it and to to learn because it's really great that you are here and we can communicate. I guess Danny is slacking off again. <laughs> no, actually Danny was in, in Swimani's chat. I, I pop into Swimani's channel during my lunch break if I can. So I had a little bit of time while I was eating. So I popped into, into his channel. He's a good guy <laughs> playing RimWorld. So yeah, and Danny was there. <laughs> And I actually got a, a character created or named after me in RimWorld. So I was asking uh, for bets about how long I will survive in the game. And they actually created, uh, or I don't know if they just chose uh, a character in RimWorld. And I immediately got inf infected with something. And I also had dementia as a trait. <clears throat> that was fun start. So in order to improve, I must spam chat. Understood. <laughs> uh, there is a there is a good difference between spam and proper chat, because you are definitely creating a great chat environment, and I really love it. Spam would be something completely different, and I hope that auto mode would actually catch most of it. And if not, then I will need to enable all the other funny stuff with the cloud bot that would stop like caps or emote floods or other types of floods <laughs> true true oh thank you no no need to thank I am the one who should thank you for being here definitely it's a completely different experience for me as we have established in the morning stream as well it's just so much better and I've watched uh, Sui play Porsche a few times when you were offline. Seems a chill guy. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> I left Porsche after a few streams because there was literally no one showing up. It was a nice game, but I understand that it must have an appeal in your audience to people to come by. So he played Porsche for a long time. And I also watched him uh, a few times. Yeah, he's, he's very chill, he's, he's really calm, really a nice guy. And he was actually the first person who, who raided me unexpectedly. And I believe I was playing Satisfactory at the time. And he was playing it as well. <laughs> and then I went into his stream the other day uh, after, after he raided me. And I was like, thank you for it, I just wanted to, you know, thank you for, for that kind gesture. And I actually wrote him a message, uh, a whisper, on Twitch. And he was like, yeah, my, my people enjoyed your stream, so I guess I might keep raiding you. <laughs> and I was like, okay, I'm putting you on my host list, because we are streaming in the same time. And literally, literally, I will never have the opportunity to raid him back. So he is on my permanent host list. And that's great. <laughs> Really great. My <laughs> Porsche is a bit slow uh, in the beginning. I gave up playing on PC. I gave up playing on PC more due to frame rate issues on my PC. Oh, my pick it up on Switch. Ah, Switch is a good guy. Yeah, definitely. Definitely one of the good guys. 
You really have to find the good people. <laughs> and sometimes the, the world and space around you does that for you <clears throat> on its own, right? So we found ourselves with Sui just by chance. Or was it? Was it by chance? It was destiny. <laughs> or it was destiny too. <laughs> so I I wasn't keen or I'm not really considering raiding people because most of the time there is very little people to raid with and at first I will need to know the people I raid because I will not raid someone who is a jackass right So I am one of these people who carefully select who they will work with. Maybe it's a little bit too harsh, but that's how I feel it. Raiding random people could be okay, but... Uh, then you might end up turning down your viewership because people just don't like the people you raid. That seems reasonable. No point giving attention to the wrong kind of people. That's also true. That's very true. And even if I know a few <laughs> nice and large streamers that are pleasant, there is no point in raiding raiding those because they will not even notice or they have even the raid notifications turned off so it's better to support someone smaller I also understand why the larger streamers generally don't raid someone very small because you might get overwhelmed completely and your chat and the channel is just not ready for that amount of, of stuff. Like, I saw one time when a huge streamer raided another larger streamer and it ended up being a, a shit show of the kids turning on one viewer hosts for the other channel so he had to turn down the host notifications because it was like host, host, host all the hosts hosted you with one viewer another one with one viewer so it it can get bad ouch hey he <laughs> he killed me back here sorry guys can somebody rest me please okay All the orbs. Oof, sounds real bad. Wanna, wouldn't want to be in that stream for sure. Yeah, well, that guy still was a fairly large streamer, so he could handle the situation and he was aware of what's happening, so he immediately shut down the host notifications. But still, <laughs> if somebody did that to a very small streamer, like, I might do my best to try to respond to chat and stuff, but still <laughs> I might need to disable a few notifications and then also I don't have a, an active mod team, so nobody could mod for me if I had a, a few thousand people in chat. Makes more sense to support smaller streamers like yourself. Yep. And find the good people. Find good, nice, 
honorable, respectable people. Ouch! Ouch! <laughs> Okay, so now we have 20 seconds to chat. <laughs> no mods on an unruly raid sounds mega bad. Yep. You would need to somehow manage it yourself. But you can, because the, the settings are readily available to you. So I will just get into OBS, go to my mod and try to enable some stuff that will block chat spam. And then... Uh, Then you can disable the notifications, the the alerts for some stuff. It can be, it can turn into a fun moment, <laughs> or into a complete mess. Depends on how you take it, or how you can manage it on your own. But I would really love if if our community could grow slowly with. People like, like you and others who are so kind and just come to chat. Enjoy the games. Well, definitely we are adult people. <laughs> so that's what's happening here. We are behaving like adults. Okay, I saved the day! <laughs> Thing is, people always try to find workarounds on banned words. They can be very determined. That's true. That's true. But there are also very determined uh, chat bots or chat rules that can kinda improve the situation for you, but it's true. If somebody really badly wants to hurt your channel, they will find a way. Sad face. Ouch! <laughs> yes, I adult good for the most part. Yes, I also try to adult. I adult best. <laughs> Me no adult. Yeah. All the adult stuff. Good. How did we improve? Oh, ho, ho. I guess we had just 15 precision kills before, and now we have 35 in each. Noise. Make some noise. I like it. Okay, let's go for another strike. Or people in chat can call them out. Seen that happen too when someone won't take the hint. Usually, if they don't get the attention, they stop. Yeah, that's mostly for the trolls. Indeed. And there are many, many dark stories from streamers on Twitch, like getting used by someone, or really being lied, or that they were communicating with the same person, but through two different accounts that they didn't know it's the same person and they were then misused for something, I don't know. There's a lot of risk in it. And also if you are going for partnership or something, or like all those bloody Twitter accounts which which are meant to be like, I am the leader of this community, which I don't know, I call comeandchill.com <laughs> and I am the CEO of this group and it's like, it's nothing. The people just have a Twitter account and then try to lure you into some scam or something that you will join them and they will give you an attention or, or they will try to host you or it's all a scam. Most of it is scam. So that's why you see me doing it alone for now until I really can see and inadvertently feel that uh, people are valid reasonable and there is someone else to work with so 
So the first one who seems reasonable and an adult is sweet. And we'll see how many others will come. Darn trolls, get back under your bridge. Almost like <laughs> catfishing by the sounds. <laughs> yeah, those damn trolls. So, tell us what we need to one pleasant thing about being a very small streamer is that you will only get uh, nice people or you can immediately block something fishy. Later on, yeah, that needs a mod team. And also you will you will need to stay calm. Try not to get agitated by the shit that happens online because you know there is a lot of it and people will try to do it over and over again. Some of those being kids, some sadly not being kids or uh, an adults who never grew, never grew up. Never believe anything you read or see on the internet. Always do your research. Unfortunately, people are pretty lax when it comes to checking. That's very true. Sometimes I just want to pull my pull my hair out when I read something like he believed this one or people or people are actually getting artists on Twitter. Like if that artist doesn't have a site or it doesn't have an order form that I can fill, that I will have a proof of uh, something that he is bound to do for my money, I will never use that artist. I want to have proof of purchase, I want to have some legal guidelines that he needs to follow to deliver the product that I'm paying for. It's not like, hey, I'm gonna ring you up on Twitter and just, can you do me an emote? No. No, thank you. I'm not working like that. <laughs> and there's a lot of stuff like this on Twitter. You know, considering I came from the corporate uh, <laughs> area of contracts and, and SLAs and whatnot, I will not trust someone who will just tweet to me that he will do some stuff for me. <laughs> It's just stupid. It's a scam. Oh! Collectibru! <laughs> a little collectible. I'm glad I avoided Twitter. I have a hard enough time making conversation in real life, let alone on the internet. True. Uh, if I... If I never started streaming, I would not really use Twitter as much as I do now, but I just mostly use it for notifications and once in a while something else or a reply to something that I feel that I have something to say about, <laughs> but that's not much. Overall, I am not a huge uh, social media fan, but uh, streaming demands it. So, still, you will not see me posted, posting uh, pictures of my food or that I bought new shoes or that, I don't know, I need to stand in front of a, of a mirror and post a Twitter pic about, hey, do I look buff? So, no. <laughs> Nothing like that will ever happen with me. It's only another method of people being able to contact me or... A matter of preference for people to maybe you know have a have a Twitter notifications about me going live if the twitch is not enough it's just another alternative that's all that module was hiding a path. <laughs> Gee, I'm an introvert though, so social interactions tires me out in general. Small talk is the worst thing. I prefer deeper conversation, but that builds up over time. True? That's very true. And I would I would agree with you. I mean I can have small talk. I don't 
I don't like it. And I find it a waste of time. So I'm completely with you on that boat. I would rather have a deeper conversation about something that's relevant than just talking about weather, but sometimes you just need to end up only talking about weather because there is simply nothing else to talk about. And after so many conf calls at work and shit I had to go through and polite and official conversations I had to do, it's, uh, yeah, I'm, a, I'm an all-arounder, I would say. <laughs> But I definitely admire a deeper, better conversation than just bullshit. So you can potentially dub me an introvert as well, to a certain degree. <laughs> But I'm also, I'm completely not the guy that would, uh, that would go out and seek out publicity like that. Now I need to dance on the dance floor by myself because people will see me and I just need that now. Yeah, look at me. <laughs> never. <laughs> that would never happen. Well, I'm not even a bar guy right now. If we enjoy a drink, we maybe go out with my girlfriend a little bit, sit down, enjoy a drink. But we actually enjoy enjoying the drink at home. <laughs> Quiet without... St <clears throat> Apologies, but without stupid people around. <laughs> Gee, the classic Brit small talk. This weather, eh? Yeah, you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. How's the family? They're good. How typical small talk goes when people talk to me. Yeah. <laughs> Understandable. Well, I guess you're missing a few typical British uh, terms like, Hey, mate. Or, you alright? Right, right, mate. That should be it. You right, mate? Okay, <laughs> not many people around me are gamers or into memes, so I'm happy that you're here. I guess you are in the right place right now. I might not uh, understand all the memes, but I try to. <laughs> I'm still learning. The root mind is reaching out, trying to take control from me. And overall, games are great. If you find games with great story, it's much better than watching a movie, isn't it? You live through the story, you actually feel something for the characters, because you might even play those characters by yourself. And it's just so much better. And I was actually happy to hear and see that many people are finally calling games art, because it is a form of art. Aside from the American politicians, again, using uh, video games for the as a gun violence excuse. Or anime, un <laughs> anime, unless... Unless it's to comment is that weird Japanese cartoon. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> uh, well, I am not completely versed in anime. But uh, we have watched a few pieces. We have watched through the whole Death Note, the original Death Note, not some crappy remake. So Death, what? Death Note was great. Then uh, I didn't see that fully through, but uh, my girlfriend watched the full Blood. If you have seen Blood, what else? I'm trying to think about something. It was interesting to see the different takes media did when that kid won the Fortnite championship. 
I kind of even didn't look into it. I guess a, a teen or whatever kid won 3 million. Was the 3 million dollars in Fortnite? I've never played Fortnite and I really don't intend to, so... All the best to them! <laughs> The Death Note Netflix adaptation? That's complete trash. And if you if you specifically mean the Netflix adaptation of uh, of a movie, Death Note, we just played it for a little while, and after less than half an hour, we just turned it off because it's just the the biggest crap that I've ever seen damaging a franchise <laughs> that's what I think about it yeah 13 years old and got 3 million esports has really grown too yeah well I can imagine the parents must be thrilled oh he's immune Ah, oh, that's why he's immune. Take my fiery blade in your face. There we go. <laughs> Look at him go! Okay, Rune of Jubilation, Solstice Key Fragment, and a box. Let the loot rain. Yay! Okay. And she, the parents are happy now, but before they... But before that, they often told him to stop playing games, of course. The usual shit. As my parents did. And now... Where am I now? Streaming games! Okay, I'm gonna return to orbit. But of course, even now, it's a huge risk that I did with streaming. <laughs> And I can always hear my mom like, how is, how is streaming? And yeah, it's, it's just, you know, you will need the proper income, you know, it's, yeah. Yes, I know. I know. But when I do it and went into normal employment again, I don't know what's going to happen. I admit it. I don't know. <laughs> to Yota, I think they were just trying to be responsible by making sure he didn't waste his time. Well, we only have that much time, so we might as well waste it as we see fit. Of course, while you're growing up, you should be given guidance. But at least they have a kid who won $3 million. Yay! It's it's like how when YouTube was in its infancy, people were taking a gamble there too. Yes. So Twitch is not in its infancy, but it's always a gamble. Everything's a gamble. Isn't it? Even normal employment is a gamble. You can't get fired. You really can. If you're a complete jackass. I wonder what second and third place got. I really haven't checked. I really haven't checked. I admit it. I just ignore everything about Fortnite. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, but I just do. I'm curious now, so you you might need to you might need to find it. 
Yeah, time for a sip of coffee. No one mentions them. Surely they got something though. Definitely. I don't think it was just first prize and that's it. Maybe I should really consider looking at Mixer now. That people will go there in maybe if it's somehow better or how the people behave in there. <laughs> oh, we are missing one more precision kill in a strike. Okay, I don't care. We can go for another strike. I like the game. Hello, Danny. Welcome back. So how did my how did my character in Rimworld do? Did he survive? Okay, 715 prodigal robes. I have better. I'm gonna get rid of those. <laughs> and we are all home now. So <laughs> but Albus is greeting right now, but it's quiet. Sochi, second place was a million, although the kid is splitting with his teammate. Okay. And what about the third one? Third place. Yet again through fire and flood, I keep I really keep getting this grenade launcher all the time. Harmony and Encore. Anything else I can dismantle? We have a boon of opulence which will decrease our price with Kellus. Xeno Silver Shaders. Hmm. I can bank them still. Oh, gee. Oh, wait. There's single and teams. Apparently 30 million was given away. So there's a few millionaire kids kicking around now. How easy is that? How different would your life be if you started with a few millions? <laughs> Maybe you wouldn't value money at all, right? So it's probably better to really feel the value of money before you actually get a bunch. But it would be nice to have a bunch. I'm in the wrong job, clearly. Well, clearly, most of us are in a very, very wrong job. And also, we are very late, because I don't think I would have the, the skills and the focus necessary to, to win such a match, uh, since I'm not a 13-year-old kid, right? <laughs> I'm not that fast anymore. Okay... What about those pursuits? So... We still need one headshot and one precision kill. Okay. <laughs> Same, right? It's too late, maybe. But sometimes I still try to play the lottery. <laughs> Crucible Arsenal. Hmm. Let's go for another strike. Because we are missing that one precision kill in a strike. And that's gonna be it. Oh, time for me to go. I'll catch you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye, Albus. I can hear you. <laughs> yeah. Bye, Albus. We will give him pets and scratches for you. And thanks very much for being here. See you tomorrow, hopefully. And we
we have time for another strike. There we go. Ground damage taken while you are airborne is greatly increased, so I shouldn't really jump up high. Melee abilities deal more damage and recharge much faster. That's nice. Good to know. What will we get? The hollowed lair. And two people already ahead of me. So just one more precision kill and two bounties will be completed. up with the guy so that I actually can get a precision kill. <clears throat> there we go. Were some shots fired from somewhere. I don't know where from. Okay, respawning restricted. the way damn it okay get that door open and engram prodigal steps again and deadly. Whoops. Finally. Great. So both of those uh, bounties should be completed. One is just a frame. It's not a bounty. It's a black armory frame. Okay, we were waiting for the guy. Is this why am I actually being pushed oh because of this little tower
damn flaming towers. I'm gonna get you, corrupted chieftain. There we go. All the orbs. Okay. Supercharged. So nice. So what happens next? Uh, defeat the Vengeful Hand. Okay. Um, <laughs> even though I'm kind of dead. Thank you. Thanks, guys. I'm gonna burn you to a crisp. Nice. Okay, let's continue. So currently we should have one frame to maybe craft. I'm gonna have to check the pursuits if that needs something different. So for increasing on the triumph uh, amount of, of crafted black armory weapons for the triumph, I mean we need to take the bounties from Ada and complete them. And right now we completed a vanguard frame or it's a blue one only this is a wanted guy shit Okay, so I am not killing that wanted guy, said but true. Why was I standing in shit? <laughs> My mistake. Such a great weapon. If only I had more ammo for it. No! Okay, oh great. I didn't want to jump right into his circle. Gotta get the orbs. And an engram. Great. Ammo for the Prometheus lens.
Okay, I guess we might be having a little legs when I when I use that weapon. But this fight is really graphically intense, I would say. Already immune, damn that guy. There we go. Finally. the loot crooked fang okay do, 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 do. and a solstice key fragment okay nice uh so i think i should leave this activity and sadly i realized too late that it was so much going on that my cpu was at 100 percent but i hope it wasn't too bad <laughs> and still watchable okay vanguard vanguard calibrated frame so now we have to forge uh yeah forge ignition completed Proto prototype the vanguard weapon by completing any forge ignition activity and we have the crucible arsenal <laughs> 30 guardians defeated we have this thing completed. Void kills. Hmm. Get void kills in a strike. And yeah, rocket kills. That's also good. Machine gun beta frame. So we need powerful enemies defeated with power weapons. 25 of them. Quite a bit of stuff. So many options, right? Ascendant challenge. I took this, but I don't even know where I do it. Light the way. Defeat enemies with any abilities without dying. And it needs to be what? Solar kills? Yeah, it looks like it's solar kills. I didn't kill 20 of them without dying. That's odd really odd crucible metals oh this one is a is a long one two 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 that's an old quest I actually took this quest from uh, from the farm relics of the golden age I don't know what it does but I believe I have Drang in my bank, in my vault. So, Void kills in a strike. A rocket kills in a strike. Powerful enemies with power weapons. So we might still go for another strike, but we need void kills. This is good. Rocket launcher, void. It's okay, so I think I will need to take my hard light for this one. It's a little bit lower, but it should prove useful. And we already defeated five challenging enemies. So we will have the opportunity to have this uh, as a pristine or something like that. Upgrade of this uh, 
this bond <laughs> james bond prodigal steps i don't know prodigal steps so oh, yeah, i can get rid of these atonement tau let's get rid of get, get rid of it one two three i can't talk again and i think i can use uh or i still have quite a few buffs active but i don't have the finest meta weave so we can have this metallic sunset i'm gonna dismantle that right away and let's go for another for another strike and try to get void kills and with void kills ah i will just use the weapons i will try to keep dawnblade because there is a bonus in strikes right now with solar singe yep solar damage increases slightly Still have a bit of coffee left. And the coffee is gone. And now I have my herbal tea. Hey there, Albus. Hey there, buddy. <laughs> what are you looking for? Hello. And my hand is getting licked. Damn, your tongue is so long. Albus has the longest tongues of all. Can confirm. Whoops. So we're killing Taken again. Going. Hawthorne scouts tracked a group of fallen to a high level. Okay, it's here. It's definitely here. A plant that was already infested with Taken. These Taken are surprisingly. I'm gonna wait for my blueberries. Forget the fallen. The Taken may have a new leader. They've learned defensive tactics and territory control almost overnight. We'll see what we can do. One of my teams taken energy infecting the water supply. Our purification tech can only do so much. If the contamination spreads, what the hell? people will die. All the muck cleared up. The soil and water What just happened really? We're starting from last checkpoint. Who killed me and how? Okay, there we go. Going for those void kills. This area is no longer infected. Good work. There's bound to be more than one. I think I should have marked that quest. This one and this one. Yep, much better. Do 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 do. Oh no. Right in my face. Ah, <laughs> shoot. 
right in my face. Maybe, maybe a rest? No? Okay, I guess that's fine. That's only fair. Is there just the two of us? I only see him. Bombs. <laughs> okay. It's not the best that it's just two of us, but what can we do, right? Okay, there is a wanted enemy again. I don't think he will care about that one. Or will he? There it is. Wanted enemy down. Gotta get those kills. Oh, is he just running through again? What the hell was that? Immune. There we go. Into the abyss. All the orbs. nearly there they just left that unguarded this smells fishy to me really hey there buddy where did this one come from shin And he's down. I was still trying to get those kills. But I guess the event is over, so yep, no more kills. The Taken compromised a Red Legionary. 
It would explain how organized they've been. Without Oryx, I didn't think they could still... Well, take. Great. So, how did we do? Oh, we completed everything then. Let's return to orbit. As much as I hate to admit it, we have a common... Doop 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 doop. Check pursuits and into the abyss is complete. As well as ooh, how are we doing on glimmer? Okay, we're not full yet. Great. And rockets. The rockets are done. Defeat guardians in a crucible with energy weapons with energy weapons actually it's quite a bit of grind 25 big kills with uh, with power weapons that means 25 mini or big bosses hmm Defeat enemies in the menagerie without dying. Hmm, that's odd. I think I will not jump into menagerie because I don't know how long that will take me. Well, I the way 20 kills with abilities, okay. Do 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 careful collector, that's still there, solid light. Wildest dreams. Complete public events in the dreaming city without dying. <laughs> Expires in six hours. Hmm, that's a new one. And sidearm calibration. Sidearms are quick fire and good in close quarters. Real workhorse of a gun. In four hours. Ah. Maybe we can do that. Or we can go to Gambit and try to do this with with sunshot not too bad or the other thing is that I am getting a crap load of uh, of key fragments <laughs> I have 520 key fragments but I have no packages to unlock so how about going for that lovely event Let's go in here. So let's check Eva for the quests, for the solstice quests, and maybe I can get some packages to open to get that sweet, sweet loot. have a very important I have a very important announcement to make we are having chocolate later on <laughs> huge pieces of chocolate in our mouths that's what's gonna happen There is something at the postmaster. Checking now. <laughs> Quite a bit of it. Right side of wrong. And I have no space for this one. Damn. Hmm. Head seeker firmly planted. A pulse rifle. What is a head seeker? Body shots landed with this weapon increase precision damage for a short time. Intriguing and firmly planted increases accuracy, stability, and handling when firing while crouched. Ah, I don't crouch that much. I would like to get a, uh, to get a higher item level gun so that I can use it for my hard light, maybe. 
How much would this cost me? Quite a lot. A lot of face glass needles. Not too shabby. Uh, to to the ringing nail. That's from the forge. Outlast. This is also from somewhere I don't know where. It's a, another pulse rifle. Hmm, damn, if only I could use this one <laughs> for my hard light. Oh well. Time to dismantle the stuff. Atonement Tau. This one as well. And we have 6 out of 10 challenging enemies defeated. Oh, and we have this one, Tangled Web Bond. 715, 715. Bow reserves, and the second one has sidearm reserves. Huh. Okay, whatever. One of you goes away. No more triumphs right now. Oh, we still didn't get the finest matter weave, so we will need to get that. Doo, doo, doo. And this one. Bye. Down to the city and up again. Another auto Down rifle. Bye. Come here and let me look at you. What else can we get? Something from Zavala. Pum 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 pum. Okay, 724, that's quite a good one. Outrageous fortune, power weapon. And we don't have enough. This is outrageous. So, yet another grenade launcher. No accounting for where it will fall. The city is depending on its guardian now more than ever. Snapshot sights, faster time to aim down sights, quick draw, can be drawn unbelievably fast. The wolves. Aggressive frame, high damage, high recoil, spike grenades. Linear compensator. Ah, all right. Linear fusion rifle. Maybe I can leave the crooked fang and then I will dismantle the other one. Oh, sidearm. We actually need to do some sidearm calibration, right? How will that work out? Also, we might need to adjust the setup based on what Eva will give us. Because we will be going into the EDZ. Something special for you. Hi, Eva Levante. As a solar subclass, collect captured solar energy from defeated Cabal combatants. Oh, yes. And this the last is exactly one is high value targets with a solar subclass equipped. Okay, so I have solar subclass. And what about the other questies? High value targets. Enemies defeated with solar I weapons. More, I so I need solar now. weapons specifically. Yet again. And that's not the last dance. That's Sunshot. And even Outrageous Fortune. <laughs> So I might need to use it for this time. Okay, let's go for it. We are going for the event. Event Horizon. 
And I have a sip of tea. Searing solar light. Bosses and mini bosses are significantly more vulnerable to solar damage. Significantly more vulnerable. Okay, good to know. almost fell down. <laughs> How lovely. So I think I'm a little late to the party. How do I get up? What you doing, Albus? There is nothing for you there. And there I was looking at Albus and I fell down. <laughs> again. Who is shooting at me? These little bastards are here. Okay, nice. Is he dead? No, I don't think so. Do 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 do. Saw to do it. Nice. No, <laughs> I almost fell into the hole. Damn it. We need all those packages. Hidden chest. Seven. So they killed seven mini bosses. One, two, three, four. One is in there. He went for the other ones. Hmm. 
Where was the next one? Was it lower? There it is. Okay, four out of seven. I guess the rest was on the other side. I have no idea where, because I haven't looked. Five out of seven. I guess the, the chests in this part are mostly high up. Ah, 14 seconds, 12 seconds. Two, one, and we're gone. Still great. Okay, we're gonna return to orbit, and in the meantime, I can open some of these boxes, because I have a lot of fragments. Ooh, solstice robes, majestic. Really? Now they start dropping? Show that to me. They really are. With, uh... With different perks. Mm-hmm. So that's why. Intriguing. Starfire protocol, extra, f extra fusion grenade. Let me check what that does. Extra fusion grenade kills. Come on, disappear. The chat stuff. Grenade kills charge rift. Scout rifle, submachine gun reserves, not too great. Unflinching shotgun, pulse, flinching rifle. Okay, let's use this one for a little bit. Hey there, guys. Did the boss disappear? I guess he did. Okay, let's go that. That away. Shoot! <laughs> Wrong jump. 
Is it dead? I guess it is. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna shoot his crotch. There he goes. Wow! Okay, <laughs> enhancement core and a smuggler's word. How much is that worth? A smuggler's word. of this that did the trick okay five targets neutralized and we still have a minute and 15 16 seconds to go oh and I see Albus is back under my chair Okay, guys, have fun on your own. Oh, that was nice. Yeah. I wonder why that happens. But it always happens when you jump and someone your sparrow, you don't fall down, you just flip over. Flip and flip. Okay, no more grenade ammo, grenade launcher ammo, so we're gonna do this instead okay captured energy and another one I wonder why we didn't get more of it because I didn't notice it dropping Time is up and suddenly I'm getting the solar energy. I don't think I was getting that before. launcher time Ooh, <laughs> nice okay I am empowered That was intense. I think I'm gonna die anyway. Yep. No way out of that. with those rockets
shit, these doggos. Where is the third guy? Is it just the two of us again? Okay, just gonna touch the chest for good measure so that it can disappear. One, two... One was already here. Okay, unfortunately I didn't notice the rest. There is one. go four out of seven five out of seven Nothing else. Nope, nothing here. Eight seconds. Hmm. One should be in there and the other one. Too late. All right. Let's see what we can get or what we got. Let's get rid of this. Hmm. <coughs> Smuggler's word, but it's 726. That's quite high. I might need to use it for something. And let's open up the packages just to. Ooh, Solstice Gloves, majestic. And Farseeker's Reach. And the question is, if you unlock this on one character, that you have the Majestic Solstice gear, will the packages unlock Majestic Solstice on other characters automatically, or you need to complete the quest anyway? Hmm. There is the question. So this one... Uh, 
has a grenade launcher loader and a fusion rifle scavenger scavenger sorry this one has bow loader and sniper rifle scavenger heavy ammo would be better momentum transfer power weapon loader slightly increased reload speed of any equipped power weapon that's that's better and hmm Damn, I still need a lot of stuff. But sooner or later, later I will need to do it. Anyway, this will be it for today. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching the afternoon stream. We finally got the Warlock Majestic or Legendary Solstice gear. So I am very happy for it. I hope you have a lovely rest of your afternoon or day. And I really hope to see you tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow, there is a consideration. We either have a bit more Destiny 2. Or we can begin Thief. A full playthrough of Thief. Anyway... <laughs> I'm out of here, so thank you very much, and stay safe and healthy. Bye for now. Bye-bye. <laughs>